The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. I'm Warren Basil Chapman here on this Wednesday, November the 24th, day before Thanksgiving. Hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Dow's down 100 at 35,713. This has been a steady pullback, um, uh, taking a, a little longer than the move from 35,419 in the Dow back around about. Um, Late, late October, and then it went to all-time high on the 8th of November at 36,565. And now it then pulled back, and the patterns that we were looking at have all unfolded exactly the way we thought they would. Uh, this is very interesting because if I can just find it right there, click. There it is. <clears throat> it has a little mini H pattern, lowercase h, and then it closed decisively lower. It took three bars, couldn't break above that left side high, there's the H pattern, and it, it, it actually did the one-to-one -to, -one to the downside. It's holding the Chapman Wave inside wedge target resistance line. In this case, it's target support line, pink dashed line. It's held it very nicely, the 35,490 level, which uh, is a potential target. We've gotten close, today's low is 35,000. Whoops, let me just see what it is. 35,591. Uh, so we can see what happens today. I think the day is very young. We're going to see some chopping and changing all over the show. Now, most importantly, the weekly jobless claims post stunning decline to 199,000, the lowest level since 1969. That's really, that's amazing. And yeah, the, the government is trying to have trillions and trillions of dollars of extra money coming out. I, all I can say is I, you got to think this through carefully. you got to think about what's going on, what's, what's happening in the, in the oil situation, now what's happening in interest rates. There's a lot going on here. And in fact, with jobless rate so low, you would think that the normal aspect of yields going high because there's more demand for bonds and buying and loans um, would be the natural consequences of, of, of all these different positive aspects of the economy. And here the TLT is at 145.36, <clears throat> made a double bottom potential low. But in fact, yields, and if we go to the TNX, oh, I wonder if I can show you that. Uh, maybe I'll do it a little later on. The TNX, which is the 10-year yield, went to... 16.93, 1.693, two pennies or two ticks above the 16.91 or 1.691% 1 that was made back in October the 23rd, 22nd. Um, so you would think that the yields would naturally go higher because, I mean, that's just a natural consequence of, of economic demand. And now we are in leg D in the weekly chart. Finally, we got to that D. Oh, one, interesting, one of the reasons why some of us are just, we've done this for so long, and the market is consistently, its objective is to, is to challenge us, challenge our thinking, to challenge us in ways that are always different. I mean, wherever have you seen gold act, even though gold's pulled back, it acted so well when the dollar is screaming to the upside at 96.81. I mean, this is a breakout from a, over a year ago. A year ago, we were looking at, let me just see what this candle is. That's July of 2020. The open was in 97.38, and the low was 92.65. And here we are in this cup formation, beautiful cup formation in the monthly chart, challenging that level again. Uh, this, this is quite extraordinary, uh, what's going on. Remember, I, I said for a long time, Let's try to keep yields, that's uh, bondy. Let's try to keep gold, goldy. Let's keep the dollar, dolly, and the VIX index as separate entities because they're in their own trajectories. Look at this. The volatility index 
it had a high today of 20.96. It's up in the higher region. It's at 20.46. And um, that's suggesting that there is some kind of a digestive phase going on. So I said, and we spoke about this yesterday, that the UVXY is a very, um, this is a trading vehicle for the volatility index. And look, here it is. It's up 71 cents at 16.47. It's not breaking out. Breakout would be sharply above the high that was made back on that fateful day, the 10th of November, um, where it spiked, where it had been in the 14s and it spiked suddenly to 17.25, only to pull back. So it's a, these are all different vehicles. And that's saying to me that going into year's end, and this is why I had that uh, uh, um, uh, webinar just recently, Going into year's end, when the market, especially the Dow, cl closes the end of October, the beginning of November, at a high, but especially if in November it acts very well, there's just a really good chance that even though there could be a pullback, that the market kind of closes nearer the highs of that year because it survived the September, October, the usual September, October um, decline. So let's just go back now. We're going to now we can get back into the rhythm of looking at these different things. I just want to show you the E mini made a peak. D, the e S and P e mini made a peak D <clears throat> just moments ago at 10:05 at uh, six uh, 46.76, 77.75 in the one minute chart. It's pulling back now. It's at 46.67. You had the single leg A up spike in the 10-minute uh, chart. Let me show you patterns. We're going to do all of that. This is technical Friday, even though it's a Wednesday, because we will not be here on Friday. <clears throat> I might. I, might, I just don't know yet whether I need to send out um, my my opening call newsletter on Friday. We'll see how the markets close. All our positions we've set in place. We've taken profits in a lot of positions, taken little bits off. We've built up a cash position. We are short. Um, we've been short different areas, and the latest area has been the the, um, the QQQ, the NDX 100, and the SMHs, just about at their tops. Um, all I can say is that we've done our homework, and let's see what happens. Look, there's a falling X formation right here. That means lower lows are much lower. Lower highs are much lower lows. We've done that. Uh, the 10-minute chart says that resistance level, just let me make it red. So that you can see what I'm. And let me make it pink, in fact. And let me make it nice and thick. Wait, there it is. <clears throat> there are. And now you've got the lower one. Let's see what happens. Um, it, it could do anything. You can see there's some buying, there's some selling, a lot of things going on. But I, I suggest to you that the rotational correction is underway. I've been talking that for a while. I said let's wait and see um, when we get that sell-off from the QQQ. We've got a little bit of a sell-off, big deal. In three days, you've gone from an all-time high of 408.71 to today's low of 392.54. Um, that's just nothing. Look at that big move up from the low that was made in November the 10th at uh, 387.53. That's when that VIX index it pumped up. And uh, that's a big move from 387 to 408. So you've taken two days. You've given back a couple of days' worth of of action. It's just the start of something. That's all I can say. I'll talk about it more when we get back. That's what you have to take. Nishin Sawa, Cows, down 124, he's down 70. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. We're back. And let me just go through uh, where we were right there. We were looking at the QQQs. So there's the NDX 100, and it is down 280 at uh, 394. If you come back a little bit from the lows, hey, we'll see what happens. Let me just include the SMH. is also coming back a little bit from testing the 14 period exponential moving average, down 2.7 at 302.54. 318.82 was the all time high at the peak F. It went into the Chapman Wave inside track, repellent zone, got repelled. Days young, we'll see what happens. Look at that, the weekly chart, 91% in the stochastic. MACD is good, 90 is way above the 14, and the price is way above the 9. All I can say is, we'll see what happens, just the starting, uh, starting position, trying to do something here based on the Chapman Wave methodology. <laughs> we'll see if that's going to work. A um, couple of things I want to look at here. Look at the IWM. The IWM. Is trying to rally off uh, today's lower low, and it's in a leg B to the downside. It's got that A pattern straight up, and now it's coming straight down, but it has taken its time in a way from the 244.46 high of the 8th of November, all time high, peak F in the Chapman Wave, and now we're down at the, we hit today, 228. You know, that, that's a lot of points, 9% in just a brief time. So we're going to be watching this closely. Now, let me just do this. Uh, within the context of everything we're looking at, it's really important. The TLT, let me just show you something here. I normally show this to subscribers to my opening call over the weekend when I do my video overview. But I'm going to show this to you right now, if I can actually find where it is. What happened? New. Oh, right there. Um, the 30-year yield is a TYX, and it's white. The, the brown is a TNX, a 10-year yield. And coming up in a moment is the FVX, which is the cyan-colored five-year. Look at that five-year screaming high. Wow, if ever there's been a little divergence in these yields, this is it. This is coming up right now. Oh, one, two, we're there. Look, yields are rallying. It's down 14 ticks today. It's 20.09. Uh, it's 2.009 in the 30-year, trying to get back to that resistance level. The... Ten years has just made a new high, and that's going to be a new a new leg up in the weekly chart, right? At uh, 1672, 1.672. Look at the five year. Look at this overlap. This is inc you don't look even when it was here and there was a, a bit of an overlap. It was it lasted seconds. 
This is really different. This is saying that the five-year, I can't believe this, the five-year yield, the FVX, this is the five-year T-note yield, has gone from a low back in 2020. It is in August. It goes to 1.92. Now, I have to take away, so it's actually point. 192. And there it is at 13.60, 1.3. That is a huge move in the five year. So that that's speaking to demand in, in many ways. Look, he has wood, the iShares Global Timber Frost, you're just stuck in this lower range. The uh, Philadelphia Housing Index did make a nice recovery high. This is potentially a cup formation. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to be watching that one closely. So now let's go back to our story. And our story is that the Dow is trying to rally. The uh, the little uh, the one minute chart that we were looking at has rallied sharply. The ten minutes has gone right back to that resistance level, the falling X formation. What does that mean? Falling X just means you're making lower lows and higher highs. And at some point, there it is. Uh, at some point. If you break above that resistance level, you can go quite a bit higher. Yes, the up move. Yes, the lower highs are much lower lows. And then it turns around, makes a base, and tries to break that trend line. If it does that, you could get a one-to-one -to, -one to the upside. We're going to be watching this closely. I'm not sure there's enough strength to do that. I'm just mentioning that's the pattern we're going to follow. Let's get back to our story. And our story says the SMHs. Semiconductor index now down just two at 303 point. Look at this. NVIDIA. Has it come back nicely? Yep, it's come back now. It's up a little bit, up 70 cents at 318.20. It hit 346.47 with a 319 round number low on the 22nd. Talk about round number lows. What was I looking at? Um, uh, AD. Oh, let me just check that out. What came out with earnings this morning? Yeah, GPS, right? GPS, that's the gap. Whoa, look at the gap. Uh, the gap had a plunge. Let me get R. That'll get me back there. Uh, look at that gap. 23% down at 18.11. It's down 5.40. It made, this is a very interesting thing. Look, I, I draw, drawn this in the other day. A peak C1, C2 double top in the daily. That acts like a peak D. And now look at that pullback from the 25s. And we're at the 18. Oh, this is unbelievable. That wasn't the, the issue. The issue was that we had, what else, what had earnings today? Um, AD. No, no. A, D, B, R, B, R, no, A, A, something, tell, tell me what day you had earnings today, A, D, oh, no, I can't remember what it is, yeah, J, W, N was another one, no, 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 uh, not, not Adobe, but it's like, it's in the areas, in the tech area. Uh, oh, 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 A D A D B K uh, A D B K. Oh, I usually know these things, and now I'm just flubbing it. Nope. A D S K A D S K. What kind of handwriting do you have there, Mister? That is an S. Yeah, A D S K. So uh, I'm looking at this from the other day. I notated a couple of the tech stocks over the years. The ones that I kind of followed, and I thought, well, the earnings are coming up soon. Let me do the notation. Well, on the um, 16th of November, Autodesk has an open of round number 326. The very next day, it has a slightly high, higher high, 335.46. That makes peak a leg E. Next day is a red candle, peak E, and all red candles. And now it's plunged 16 percent, down 48 to 255. Those round numbers, I mean, look at this. Goog, Googie, look at this, Alphabet, oh, this is not the trading vehicle, had a 3037.00 all-time high on the 19th of November. I have to tell you, these round numbers always flabbergast me, how you can, how, how they come about at 
serious market turns as potentials just to watch. It doesn't always work, but it's just like a heads up to say, wow, someone's getting out. Justin says, get me out. I'm just putting it in without bothering to put in any uh, uh, points. I'm just going for the round number. So this is uh, Deer has a high today of 371.80. It's up 19. Great earnings. And I said to subscribers the other day that that Caterpillar, but especially Deer in the farming area, should be doing very nicely. And here it is. Very good action. Not great action because great action would say that the cup for, second cup formation shouldn't have gone so deep in the weekly chart. It should have held the 360 area. And now, right now, it should be at something like 3, 393, 402. So this is very good action, but it's bumpy. It's a chapter break inside track, a repellent zone. Um, and that goes together when I was talking about DBA the other day, which we are long, the subscribers, DBA Agriculture Fund uh, at 20.32 made new recovery high. This is telling us that the agriculture sector is doing well. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back. Wow, I, I went to so many places during that uh, couple of minute break there. But let me see if I can retrace now. So I'm talking about the semiconductor index. Well, Applied Materials, one of the major players there, had a round number, all-time high of 159 um, point zero zero, and that was round about the. I'm going to give you the exact. I think it was the 11th. Let me just check of this uh, on the 16th. Let me just put down now. I can put that down on the 16th of November. Not bad, huh? And now it's down at um, 
147, it's down almost $2. Uh, so it's a 12-point slide. It's about 7, 7 or 8% slide, just whoops, like that. What's really important now, as far as I'm concerned, is that if there is a rotational correction, you should see these sudden flurries because we are talking about a, a favorable sea, time of the year, but at the same time, you've got weakness. So how do we? How does it resolve? It resolves as very selectively. Um, I mentioned to my subscribers this morning, I love the fact that a particular stock that we've been following um, hasn't, um, has been moving higher. I'm just upset that we didn't get into it. And today it's up sharply. It's up actually, it's a $28 stock, up $2 today. Uh, it just, um, you've got to be very selective. It's really important. Now, what's even more important is that within the context of all the things that we're looking at, let me just show you something here. I was asked a little earlier, could I show FANG? Uh, FANG, which is, there we go, F-A-N-G, Diamondback Energy Inc., um, beautiful move. It had a peak E top at about 100, what was it, 1650 or something, 117.71 on the 8th. It drops all the way down four days ago. It was trading, <laughs> this is a big move, move to 100.78. You know, yeah, yeah, these are 17%. These are, yeah, and now what does it do? Within three days, it's back at 114.08. And that goes together with the XLE because energy is a huge part of what we're looking at. Look at the XLE. Just broke the Chapman Bay falling X, low lows, low highs, breaks that trend line. That's a positive thing. And the monthly chart, the weekly chart, I'd said, I'm calling it a leg B, even though I could give it an alternate count because I think energy is a very big important, it's a very important part of what we're looking at at this particular time. So e XLE is at up 80 cents at 58.14. Well, the, the most recent high, not all-time high, the recent high, 50, uh, 59.41 Oct October the 26th. And look at this. And then you make your U-shaped pattern double top. You remember I discussed this? It's exactly what we're looking at in the QQQs and many of the others. It makes a left side high with very good technicals and then retests almost to the penny on the right side with very weak technicals. And look what happened, it has more than a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside. Now it's rallying. So this is gonna be very important how we look at it. And look at the monthly chart. Monthly chart is right at, in the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. This is a monthly chart. If at any point towards going into the last day of December, you start to see the XLE trade, not just hold on a, week, on a daily basis, but on a weekly basis up in the 60 area and actually close at closer to 61 than 57, all of a sudden that monthly chart says, ooh, that's a, that's a leg D. So the question was, a leg D, what do we do in a leg D? Um, the statement was, I'm a little nervous in leg D in the monthly chart. What do I do? If there's a person who has had fantastic trades in FANG, took, uh, appropriately took money off, and now I was looking at it. I'm just going to suggest, because you've already had great success with FANG, just go back right now at 114.12. In this, in your case, because you've had big profits, have a, like a, a five-point stop, just for the, at least for the next, into Monday, this coming Monday, and get back in. Why? Because it's leg D, but leg D can continue We've seen leg Ds, huge leg Ds. Not only that, leg Ds over all the resistance in, in May of 2019, uh, that was in the 114 area. And it's right at 114 now, having gone um, higher than that. So this is a big test. But I'm saying, rather than just watch it and say, oh, I planned it so well, you know, getting out is always, always, always easy. Getting in. <laughs> It's never quite so easy. So I'm just saying, get your foot in the door. Don't have to have a big position, but I'd get in the door right now because of your situation. Now, if this is fresh money, you've never been in, that's a different matter. I'd say only a very small position here at 113.98. And in your case, since it's a small position, I would still have something like a three or even a 4% uh, a $4 stop. I'd probably go with a $3 stop because this has to work immediately. Um, okay, next question I had was, um, Nick wanted to know about ATO. I haven't finished uh, looking at all the different indices, but I wanted to say, when a stock, Atmos Energy, another energy area, a stock uh, did this incredible February of 2020 high of 121.08, and two months later, it hit 77. 
I would say that a 50 point decline is something serious, a 30 something percent, and then rallies back and then gets stuck in the arch formation is telling us that there's a sideways, uh, sideways move. The weekly chart is okay, it's not great, it's okay for the technicals being as strong as they are, the price should be a little higher. But the daily, you see, this is what I like to do. That's the only reason why I use all these different indicators. You only need them when you need them. But if you didn't put them on, you wouldn't know that you needed them. Look how this 200 period moving average has been a fulcrum. It's been a support. It's been a resistance. It's been a huge support all the way through the July, August uh, period. And then September breaks down and becomes resistance. It comes back down sharply. Uh, and even uh, Atmos Energy, which is ATO, Trading right now at 95, 12 down 19 cents. And oh, I forgot exactly what the statement was. Uh, are you in it? Or are you looking at it? I think you're in it. Uh, let me just find it right here. ATO, ATO. There it is. Uh, good morning, Basil. Would you please go over ATO? I'm in at 94.38, and I see resistance to around 96. Not sure what leg it is in, and gives. And and given how devious this market is, should I get out? Thank you for your help, Nick. So, Nick, I'm just going to say to you, it's acting like a magnet, the 200 period moving average. My suspicion is that if it can hold the 95s, if it goes under 95, you've got to be a little, a little careful. But that magnet is going to say it keeps wanting to come back, even though it pulled back quite sharply to 92 just uh, f uh, five sessions ago, four sessions ago. So, I'm suspecting that this 200 period moving average is going to see a price. And in fact, I'll draw it in now. I'm going to say this is what I'm expecting something like that. So you could go a little higher. You could even go to the 97th, but then it could still come back and test the 200 period exponential moving average. Um, so in the meantime, back at, back at the. Um, Pattern recognition phase of it. Look how this 200 period moving average, even when it was up in the 97, 98 area, now it's down in the 95s, was a magnet up and down and up. Remember, like a spit, like a barbecue spit, and you're seeing it, uh, prices go above and below, but it keeps coming back to the middle of the spit. Now the spit is resistance. I suspect that it's going to be uh, good. I'm going to suggest you've got in, I don't think that you would mind having a, a one point stop from your 9438 uh, entry point just at this particular moment. Give it a couple of days. Let's see what happens on Monday. If it's held, and in fact, it even has a little bit of a pop, that's great action. And it says in the energy area, this one is hugging tightly to good, good, good um, magnet support and resistance in the 94. I'll be right back. Dow's down 101, SP's down 7. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, right, folks, we're back. That was out 114 SPs down eight. Uh, Gary, Tiger, you too, want you to know about Z. I, I, I've been looking at Z. In fact, I was looking at it yesterday. Um, nice, nice little green candle yesterday, a good green candle today, except I have to break the news to you that it hit the 200 period moving average back in uh, the first uh, week of November, around about the 90, what was that, 92, 90, at a peak D right there, 97.65 on the 29th of October, had a little bit of a pullback because it's trading right now. Well, yesterday the low was 54. I would just, I, I'd have to say that that's a 50%, 51% pullback is a kind of sharp. Um, good candle today. So Gary says, uh, Basil, would you have time to look at Z? I've had a put on it for three months and thinking to book the profit and move on. So, Gary, first of all, congratulations. If you've, you've had a put, you've had um, just an incredible increase in that price. Now, if you had said to me, I have puts, I would have said, you know what? Reward yourself. Take one third off right now. Just say that's fantastic and give it a little time. I think Z, which is Zillow Group Inc., it's online real estate purveyor, uh, C stock. Hit an all-time high of 208 uh, back in uh, January or February, and it's really, really, really had a, a, a just a, a whopper of a, of a pullback. I suspect that it's going to have a little bit of bounce, and it's going to do some retesting. But you have a put, and I don't have to tell you how. Um, if you're in the money, it's not a big deal to see something go from up uh, 50 points or 30 points to for you in other words down but in your case it's a profit of 30 points and then maybe it's a 28 or 25 point you know you say to yourself okay i can give a, give up a few I, I can give up a few points it's not a big deal but you've got one and i'm just going to suggest to you that you you nailed it so perfectly that even if it goes lower um you could use that money in, in another way. And, oh, my other thought is to sell half. Oh, you've got puts. Now you've got puts. Absolutely. So this is exactly what I was going to say, that if you have some, I would immediately, I don't want to tell you how much to take off. I would just say to you, take off some. I would love for you to keep some because I think it's going low with the general market. I think this market has a big problem on the shorter term. I don't, now someone said to me yesterday, you were so negative, it looked like you were a big bear. No, I was, I said there's a rotational market going on right now. And because there's a rotational market and I've got daily sell signals in the latest uh, uh, sell modes in some of the more mature week to two to three week, four week sell signals, I don't have it yet. I want to see the S&P um, pull back much deeper. Look, it's down only 14 points at 46.76. 
an all-time high of 47.43. It hasn't broken down yet. And that's the daily chart. I even got a sell signal. So all I'm saying is that I would like very much to see that you, you reward yourself, not just with taking some, a little bit off. Reward yourself. Take, it, take something off. I don't want to tell you how much. I, I personally would like to see um, Zillow try to rally into the 58 and a half, 61, maybe even 62 area, and then give a test on the downside if it takes out the low and starts to trade below 51, below 50, that is just really negative action. And I think there's a, a chance it can do that. So I would like you to keep something. So take off, absolutely reward yourself. You figure out, and I would, the, the rest that you keep, you can have in two lots. You can have it in, in a lot that says, you know what, uh, I've taken good profits and this I'm going to split and if it does that, if it goes up, I'm going to take something off, a little more off. If it goes down, I'm just going to hold them. You decide what you do. Maybe even by Friday or Monday, well, Monday we can talk about it again. But absolutely, I would, if you've got uh, not just one, because you had said put, but now you're saying puts, it's complete. take something off immediately and reward yourself. I would definitely keep some because I think that Zillow is going to, at, at best, it'll bounce around and retest the 50, 52, 51 area. At worst, um, it just takes it out by um, the first week of December. The worst is that it suddenly is trading the 48, 47 area. It's got a big problem. I think it's getting close to resolving it on paper, but not in real life. <laughs> let's see what happens. All right, let's get back. Oh, and then food two, food two, food two is, I always forget what, oh, food two holdings. I think this is a Chinese company, up a dollar fifty-four today, fifty-five point eighty-four. Earnings came out. I, I don't know what they, where, or how, or what. Let me just what it says here. Um, future earnings. Yeah. Oh, uh, future uh, three quarterly report latest out revenue jumped eighty-three percent. Has become oh Hong Kong. Okay, Hong Kong's largest retail brokerage. Uh, I want to export financial services on, on behalf of China. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So that's good to know. But I'm only looking at the chart, and I would have to say to you that it's making the H pattern. And if they ever get into the the brokerage business, since uh, I would treat it more as the speculation area, I think you're absolutely right in keeping an eye on this. But at this particular point, I'm just, I wouldn't get too carried away even on the, on the long side. It could have a little bit of a bounce, but I think it needs a lot more testing. Um, a Futu is a Chinese brokerage, yes. So in that regard, it fits the whole concept that I have here. Remember the IAI we have from the 46ers way back, March the 24th of 2020, um, trading right now at 112, made an all-time high of 116.25. Um, I'm looking at this and I'm saying keep an eye on it because together with Charles Schwab, I think we've got a digestive phase going on, but Schwab hasn't heard me. It's still acting really well. It's up 28 cents at 83.22. And if I'm correct, I don't know if I'll be correct, but I'm thinking, still thinking, that we're going to go into this huge, almost like a gambling phase with the stock market as more and more people get involved with certain areas of the stock market. Look, the Bitcoin... Uh, down today, down 670. I gave a sell signal uh, on the uh, um, Bitcoin, but it made the double top with weaker, uh, weaker technicals at 69.355. We're still long from the 12,000s area. Um, I, just to have a little bit, a small position, we've taken huge profits off it. And leg D is now peak D in the weekly chart. I think they'd be looking at this in a completely different way. And if you're looking at the GDX, the GDX, um, sitting right on key support at 32.34. I, I think that gold is more in play right now than the Bitcoin, both up and down, just I'm talking about as trading vehicles. And as such, I, I remember I said Goldie, Bondi, Vixie, and Dolly treat everything separately. It's almost the same that even within the semiconductor area, you've got fantastic NVIDIA and applied materials and advanced micro devices. And then you've got some, and MU is Micron, and then you've got some real stinkers. 
So just be very selective in whatever you're doing right now. Um, and I, yeah, I, I agree with G7 again for the FUTU. Just buy a, a longer term call option and just see. couldn't care less no to come in uh, in the month of expiration. I'll be right back. Bowser Chap and Dow's down 108. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome to this uh, segment being uh, sponsored by Think or Swim. And also mention you've got Larry Pesavento coming up straight after me. Should be a great show as always. You got Think or Swim, and that's with Kevin Hanks. You've got uh, one o'clock. You've got uh, Steve Rhodes. Two o'clock. You've got uh, Dave White. You've got Tom O'Brien wrapping it up for the uh, before the Thanksgiving long weekend for all of us here. And I'm just going to wish you all just a wonderful Thanksgiving. Have a wonderful weekend. And I just don't know yet whether I, I probably will just send out a quick uh, thing for my subscribers for Friday. Meantime, back at the ranch. Look, we're talking about the home builders. Toll Brothers, fantastic, almost at all-time highs. It's got a peak D right here in the, for the last four days um, at, it's at 65.52. But wait a minute, these are homes, a different kind of uh, home builder. Um, at uh, 20.85, made a peak F top in the 22s just uh, four sessions ago, pulling back. Not quite as good a pattern in the, in the, in the monthly chart. Isn't that, you see, I'm saying that every sector has its real big winners and then a, a couple of ones that are just lagging. And look at this, Hoven, Hovnanium. Uh, this is also in the home building area, HOV. Uh, look at that, pulls sharply back from the all-time high. It's at a peak D and it's just stuck in the lower range. So I'm saying every, do your homework, 
just every sector has winners and losers. And at this particular point, the winners are the ones we're watching, but we're also watching the, the, the most recent winners as possibly having a digestive phase right now. So with that said, let me just quickly say, uh, the VIX index is pulling back here, but not that much. It's still up 52 cents at 19.90. There are some people doing some buying now because, as I say, this is the season. We're normally going to these holidays, Thanksgiving and, and the Christmas season. Uh, money comes in. So just use you, you, do your homework. Watch very closely. If the VIX index starts to pull back below 19.33, by a little later this afternoon, maybe by 1.30, this market could go even higher. But if it starts to stall and suddenly the VIX index pops into the 20.50s, it's at 19.90 right now. And it says, whoops, be careful, we've got to sell off before the end of the session. Have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for great programming. Check out Mobile Reform.